Welcome to another bite-sized training tape for football officials and today we're going to look at a at a good job done by the line judge at the bottom of the screen in terms of forward progress. So the runner is going to get stopped here and he's going to get pushed out of bounds but the wing decides that progress was actually stopped in bounds which I think is a is the correct ruling. It, He's, he's right around the 31-yard line now, and this is also where he's pushed out of bounds. So I think at the time when he crosses the sideline, he's actually moving 90 degrees to the sideline, which is progress stopped in bounds. So uh, a, couple of, a couple of mechanics and, and philosophy points here. This is a good example to illustrate why uh, only the, 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 the calling wing should be the first to determine clock status. So we shouldn't have the umpire, we shouldn't have the field judge or the back judge or whoever else uh, stopping the clock here because they see the runner go out of bounds. Because actually it's up to the wing to determine that progress was stopped in bounds and that's why we're, we're running the clock. Uh, it's also, from, from a philosophy standpoint, a situation where uh, outside of the last two minutes of a half, uh, if we have any doubts, we want to keep the clock running here. Uh, where in the last two minutes, if, if Team A is, is driving, they want to get down uh, and they want to score, then philosophy tells us if there's any way that we can rule him out of bounds, the runner, then we want to go ahead and do that. So had this been a two-minute drill, we could have very easily stopped the clock for, for the runner making it out of bounds here. But other than that, uh, philosophy tells us to wind the clock, and mechanics tells us that only the wing is the calling officials on stuff like this. And that was it for this edition of the Bite Size Training Tape. So as always, thank you for watching.